From APM, American Public Media, and Minnesota Public Radio, this is Wits. I'm John Moe. I need to issue an apology. I'm the one who broke Facebook. It started over the summer. I was pretty much home all summer long. Uh, We have three kids, and it's expensive to fly somewhere, and, uh, you know... It's expensive to take a vacation once you get there with three kids. And even if you want to put forward that kind of scratch, you're still traveling somewhere with three kids, and you're always feeling like you're being ripped off by life itself. (laughs) And apparently, my family was the only one, according to Facebook, who did this over the summer. Everyone else I knew through Facebook, or actually didn't really know, but once maybe knew sort of, They all went places, all of them. Hawaii, France, they ran marathons with their kids like some kind of monsters. (laughs) And they put up all these pictures. So I was sitting around one day and I posted a picture of my kids sitting around on their computers watching YouTube. (laughs) Camp is a blast, I captioned it. Then I took a picture of the weeds that got totally out of control in the yard. Breathtaking scenery of picturesque gardens. I put up one with a half-eaten pot of mac and cheese with the caption, kids love trying native foods. (laughs) Well, this was apparently against the terms of service for Facebook. Radically so. Multiple SUVs full of jackbooted hoodie-wearing security forces pulled up to my house and tried to smash my computer, but it was too late. See... It takes a lot of computers to run Facebook, and they need to be held together by something stronger than mere electronics. Facebook's platform actually operates on lies. (laughs) It's true. I used to be a tech reporter. I know about these things. Facebook runs on a strong bond of deception, both of self and others, and that must be maintained in order for it to exist. Vacation pictures of the one moment the family gets along and no acknowledgement of how the trip was paid for. The one poignant, adorable thing the kid said that one time, and not the mountain of stupid drivel that pours out of a kid's mouth constantly. All of these lies. Facebook relies on this, and that's how I broke it. Well, that, it wasn't me alone. Pictures of messy kitchens started going up all over. Bratty things, kids said. Links to online videos of weeds getting out of control. One by one, Facebook servers around the world burst into flames and then were sucked into the earth. It went further. People unfriended people that they didn't really actually care about. (laughs) Soon, everyone was down to at most six friends and then realized they could just call those people if they really wanted to. (laughs) Or not. And now, when you go to Facebook... You just see a picture of a pile of dirt on fire. (laughs) I think it works better this way. I'm sorry, and you're welcome.